Oh yeah, here we go. This one goes out to my globe believers. I love you. I love the globe. I love the globe. Oh yeah, I love it. I love the globe Earth. It's real and I gotta get it. The globe Earth. I gotta get it. Give me some of that good old globe Earth. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Praise more. the globe Earth. I really hope that my dog doesn't start talking to me to, like, teach me a lesson. Like, I hope I haven't been accidentally treating her horribly, and now she's going to suddenly gain consciousness and start talking to me like that story in the Bible where God makes a donkey start talking to the guy. <laughs>
from Mozart. This is the story of the Scrumbos. My feelings for these creatures can be described as follows. Compassionate, caring, and oftentimes daring. I just know you will love the Scrumbos. Looks like the Scrumbos have made a new friend. While we love our dear Scrumbo friends, do you think we can trust them with the life of a conscious being? <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Hey, Scrumbos! Be careful with your new friend. Don't get too excited. It's small and you could hurt it. Okay, well, most of you did okay. Lilith, can you come here for a second? Yeah, what's up? What the fuck is wrong with you? Jesus! Can you fucking take this shit seriously? Is it really that hard for you to put fucking effort into your performance? Are you fucking listening? Maybe these fucking helmets are making it hard for you to hear what I'm saying. We're trying to make art. All of you, we're trying to make art here. Or at least I am. I swear to God, none of you take this seriously, especially you, Lilith. I'm tired of all you not getting it. We're trying to create an important piece of television. And if we get this shit right, it'll be, it'll be. Ah! Are you okay? Huh? What? I said, are you okay? Um, I don't want to talk about it. I don't know. Yep, I don't really want to talk about anything anymore, do you? What? Nothing, sweetie. Alright, we're here. Bye, see you tomorrow. Hey, hold on. Y yeah, um, no, no, I'm sorry. You didn't do anything. Just feeling kind of ignored by you lately. Oh, I didn't realize. No, it's fine. We just need a date soon, that's all. Oh yeah, we haven't had one in a while. Yeah, we haven't talked in a while. Yeah, how about this weekend? Yeah, yeah, sure, this weekend. Yeah, all right. Uh, thanks for driving me here, by the way, May. Okay, yeah, I'll still take you to work tomorrow. Thanks.
Ah, hey, Lilith. You're home early. Hey, Jared. When are you gonna pay me back that twenty dollars? Yeah. What does that face mean? Means I can't pay ya, sweetie. <sighs> Not till my grandma visits, anyways. I'm gonna go nap for seven hours. <laughs> Mr. Rabbit's speech. My dear friends, it's been an absolute pleasure. It pains me that I must leave. You four are beautiful and heartwarming creatures. But as there are many hearts that will be crushed by my absence, there will be even more hearts trampled on by the absence of pain. And as we are emotionally ruined by the absence of a loved one, we too are ruined by their continual presence. And to you, dear Scrambles, I ask, would you feel more pain at my living or the burden that my continual existence unloads? Goodbye, dear Scrambles. All right, cut. That was fine, I guess. Let's take a break because I'm fucking tired of being alive. What's up? Can we talk outside for a second? Okay, um, should I go take this off first? No, it's fine. Let's just go. Is it not obvious to you? Why are you so distant lately? Did I do something wrong? I mean, um, it's not like you actually did anything. Uh, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Um, it means what it means, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so if I didn't do anything, why are you so hostile and distant now? Why do you ignore me? Um, I think... I think I just don't love you anymore.
Why didn't you just break up with me sooner? I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't think you are. Yeah, what is it? I'm busy. I can't. I just can't come to work tomorrow. I don't know. Um, I'm really sorry. I just. I don't have an excuse even. I just really. really hate myself, so. You know what, Lilith? I can't take this shit anymore. We haven't been able to shoot anything for the past six weeks because of the shit you're pulling. I don't know. I'm done, Lilith. I'm fucking done with this shit. You're fired.
Time for Scrumbos to go to bed. into a suitcase, all your t-shirts and your troubles and your toothpaste. A long way to go and no time to waste, you're going away forever today. There's a problem with people that live day to day, they can't remember the past or the plans that they made. They get stuck in a role that they weren't meant to play. Caught by the current and drowned by the waves. Don't say goodbye, cause that is a lie. It's not all that good. Don't waste your time reciting lines that you never understood. Sam Mulaney speaking. Just treated a patient who had an eyeball infection. <sighs> patient came to see me on May 6, 2013, describing their symptoms to me as... Oh, uh, well, for weeks now, my left eye has been really itchy and watery pretty much constantly, and it never really lets up. Uh-huh, okay. And, uh, I'm also sweating a lot, but that's not really abnormal. <laughs> but the weird part about it is that the sweat droplets are dark brown? She had to run around outside to get her sweat going, and I was shocked by how brown it was. I have never seen anything like it before. fucking hot dog in front of me. Dr. Sam, that felt so weird. That felt like taking a dump out of my eyeball. I could feel it in there. It was weighing me down. But I don't feel relieved. I feel nauseous.
I have to go to work. Another day! Good morning, God! Hi, Lawrence. La 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 Good morning! I'm gonna go set up my show now! People say I globe earth around, but I'm too busy singing here in a globe earth town. Hey! Wah! Hey, you stupid asshole! What are you even singing about? Your song makes no sense! I hate it! I hate your song so much! What's wrong with you? Why are you on the floor? Is that lady drunk? No, she's just like that. She's my roommate. Let me take care of her. What the hell? You can't be doing fuck? this. Why not? Look what you did to him. He's... <laughs> Something's happening to him. You need to leave him alone. His song fucking shits! Yeah, but like... He, he's just a guy who, sh who shows up every day for no reason. We just kind of let him do it. Why? You need to leave. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't I have something to do? Oh yeah, I have a doctor's appointment in... Two minutes. So, uh... Jesus Christ. I, uh, I ran some tests on your samples, and I was able to diagnose you with 172 unrelated illnesses. Heh, <laughs> long paper. Ah, why the fuck are you laughing? Oh, the paper's long. Janice, you're going to die unless you take this seriously. <laughs> Janice, if you keep trying to deflect your real issues with irony or humor, you will actually die. Ah! <laughs> Shit, my coffee. <laughs> <laughs>
Would you like to come home? Yeah. For the past 50 years, we've been planting our seeds into our children on Earth. But as they grow and disperse throughout the Earth, we have lost them. Please collect our children and bring them back up to us. Of course. I'll do whatever it takes to find them all. We love you, Essentia. Thank you in advance for ascending with our children. I won't let you down. I'll get started right away. Goodbye. I'm home. Oh, hey, Gail. How was your trip? What are you wearing? My name is Ascension now. Your name is what? a lot like this little thing by some very kind and loving aliens who look a lot like this photo. And ever since then, I've been spreading the aliens' message to finally bring all their children home. These are my disciples. Together we are taking a journey back to our true existence and eventually to our true home world. If you followed your spiritual desire to watch this revelation tape, then that same true home world existence as a being and destiny is also completely <laughs> Please follow your predetermined path. Enclosed in the package you received is an address written on a piece of paper. Come to our place of commune. We love you. <laughs> what a load of shit! <laughs> so annoying and obviously a cult can you believe people believe in that shit um um yeah it's weird who will believe in that shit
You're starting to believe it, aren't you? <laughs> you fucking dipshit. <laughs> You're so easily manipulated. <laughs> you Oh, sorry, I haven't finished those yet. Sorry, sorry. Nobody ever comes in, so I just didn't think it was important to finish these pamphlets. Uh, welcome to the Disciples of Essentia. We are not interested in death threats or mockery. If you are here to threaten us, you can leave a nasty email at nastemails at doa.com. Oh, actually, I'm interested in joining you. If that's okay, I can leave if it's not. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's okay. I'm just not used to this. Let me go get Essentia. What is it? Essentia, someone just came in who wants to join. Aha! Wonderful! This is the first new disciple you've seen, right, Delilah? Yeah, I didn't know how to react. It was crazy. <laughs> Hi! How are you? I'm Essentia. Hi, I'm Amy. Not anymore! As a new disciple, I have to give you a new name. The one our mother's meant for you. Come sit over here with me. I'm about to telepathically receive your name from the heavens. Hold on. Elise, welcome. Lila, I put it on. Can you show me around now? Oh yeah, sure. Oh hey, you look great. <laughs> yeah, I guess. No, it seriously brings out your eyes, I think. Pretty convenient since you gotta wear it all the time. Haha. <laughs> hmm. So, that's the dining area. It's where we eat everything. Yeah. This is the backyard. It's fine. This is our collective bedroom. I'll show you where you're sleeping, but be quiet because everyone else is asleep. Here's your bed. You'll meet everyone tomorrow, I think. Thanks for showing me around. No problem. Good morning, everyone. Let's do roll call. Mipsy? Here. Ellen? Here. Clois? Here. Narnia? Here. Mavis? Here. Jermaine? Here. Moffat? Here. Lil P? <laughs> Strawberry? Ah! Mira? Mira? Oh, what? Oh, um, here! Sorry. Cherma? Here. Reba? Ah! Yami? Here. Mona Lisa? Here. Delilah? Hi! Hello! Also, we have a new disciple. Everyone say hello to Celise. So today, I just want to go over our beloved mother's history. They 
come from a magical pea pod. They are the pink in the pea pod. They are made of breath and translate their words into thoughts for us. Bring your breath down to my soul's air bag. Replace this human air. Renew my way of being. We love you, our dear protectors. You are perfect. Okay, that's it. Hey, can I sit here? Yes. Are you sure I can just leave you alone? No, it's okay. Please sit with me. Okay. What's your name? Narnia. What's your name again? It's Elise. I like it. What did you do before coming here? I became a hypnotist at age five and I hypnotized my parents into giving me all their money and then I became a gymnast and I spent my whole life training to do it but then when I tried out for the Olympics I messed up and then I hypnotized the judges to let me go to the Olympics and then I went to the Olympics I messed up again and there were so many people there who saw me mess up and there were too many people to hypnotize so then I was without a job but I found out about Bitcoin and I got Hi, I'm Celise. Can I join you? Um, yeah, sure. I'm Mira. Nice to meet you. Uh, you just got here, right? How do you like it so far? I think I like it. I feel at home for the first time in my life. Haha. <laughs> I'm glad. That's cool. Um, what do you like to do? Uh, I like making songs, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's so cool. Thanks. <laughs> Could I hear one sometime? Sure. In due time, we will ascend back to our origin planet, where our creators, our true mothers, reside. Where our souls live, but our bodies have yet to go. Let's take a ride. We will ascend back home, we will ascend back home, back to our true home, we will ascend. Our true home with our true mothers. It will be magnificent. The end. Hey, you're Lil P, right? Do you mind if I eat with you? Keep these? Yeah. So, 
If any of you permanently leave our commune, when we finally ascend, we will come back for you and make you come back to the home planet as servants to our mothers. For if you desert your mothers, you will be persecuted. It is harsh, but it is the way of the mothers. Punishment, if necessary. <clears throat> Hi, Gail. Why are you here? I'm, I'm so sorry to interrupt what's happening in here. I, I, I just need to talk to you, Gail. Go ahead. Do you think we could, uh... Talk without all these people around? No. I need to talk to you about serious and personal issues, Gail, and, and I can't do it with all these people watching. These people share my spirit. Say whatever you were going to say. Gail, are you serious? Yes, Elise? Her name is Essentia. Well, to me, she's Gail, and I came here to talk about getting an official divorce, Gail. Since you just left without really saying anything or even taking your stuff, I just assumed you'd eventually be back. But it's been 30 years, so I'm just going to assume you're not coming back, I guess. Let's just get a divorce. I don't abide by earthly laws. You can move on with your life, but I will not acknowledge any human structures in place. Marriage does not apply to me, because no human power is relevant to me. Get out of here. Gail, I just want to move on with my life. You may not think marriage or divorce is real or whatever, but I do. I think it's real, and so does the government, and any woman I want to date, so just fucking throw me a bone, Gail. I don't understand any of this shit. What are we even doing in here? Derek, leave. Ah, uh, fine. Okay, so the person calling is your roommate. I'll be listening to what she says through a wire connected to the phone. I'll make signals whether or not you can respond to her questions. Be careful what you say. Don't reveal too much. Okay. Hello? Amy! Is that you? Hey, Jonas. Where the fuck have you been? Be careful with this one. Uh... Uh, out? Bitch, I know where you are. I fucking knew you were with those cultists. <laughs> Don't say anything yet. Are you fucking there? Yeah. I don't know what to tell your parents. They keep calling asking about you. Your boss is furious and threatening to fire you. I don't know what to do. Amy? Don't say anything, Celise. Amy? You know what, Janice? None of you ever cared about me. None of you ever tried before I left. And, and just like... What the hell are you talking about? Fucking let me finish! You fucking let me finish my fucking thought! Never in my life have I felt hurt, seen, or re respected until I came here. And I, I never, I never... I never want to hear from any of you ever again. Oh, god damn it, Celise, what the fuck? She's probably going to call the police or something. You sounded so crazy. Uh.
Hey, hi. I'm gonna go on a hike and play music right now before the day starts. If you wanna come. Yeah, 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 yes. Oh, here's my little spot. This is my favorite place. I come here a lot when things get too much. Oh yeah. Can you play that music now? Oh yeah. I have my ukulele buried around here, actually. Oh, let me get warmed up. Hum nom nom nom, blah 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 blah, boom nom 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 nom, lu 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 lu, la 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 la. All right, I'm ready. That's, that's what I think that sending's going to feel like. We should go back now. Yeah, so I knew I was sextuple jointed since I was really young. Used to play some tricks on my teacher.
I'm making this one up on the spot, just so you know. I have big news to share. Well, my dearests, it's time to go home. I've got a sign from above. They've told me we're ready to go back to them. Our true mothers are calling. Let's go back to them. Let's finally ascend. It's all set up, Ascentia. Thank you, Delilah. Okay, everyone. Each of you is going to sit down individually and talk about your feelings about ascending. We'll leave it behind for anyone interested in what we believe or where we went. I'm really happy. I'm really excited. I've never been this excited before. I just want my family to know I'm okay and that I'm with my true mothers. That's all that matters. I'm so excited to meet the true mothers. It feels like all my hard work is going to be rewarded and they'll finally be fulfilled. I'm happy I'll get to die at my true home with my true family. What about you, Reba? I'm hungry. I'm also hungry for the love of our true mothers. Uh... Little P says they're very excited to send the behavior okay. It's okay, little P. You can stop now. I haven't really processed any of this yet. I don't really have anything to say right now. It feels like this is what my entire life has been leading up to. something first. Oh, it's okay. Our, uh, grandma is getting gas. Oh, okay. That's fine. Please? Yeah? What do you think Ascension means when she talks about ascending? Uh, like, the, uh, Going back to our home planet, right? Uh, seeing our true moms and whatever. Okay, so what do those words kind of sound like out of context? Uh, like we're gonna die? I don't know. But, but that's probably not what you're talking about. Why would we ever die? Okay, wait, hold on. That is what I'm talking about, though. Wait, so like, you think Ascension's gonna kill us or something? Why would she do that? She loves us. Celise, like, fuck, have you thought about what Ascentia says in a critical way? Like, at all? Since you got here. What do you mean? Celise, holy shit, nothing Ascentia says makes any sense. All that shit about thought words and loving pink balls and whatever, none of it makes sense. Oh, 
why are you here then? I thought you believed the two. So, Elise, Asunja literally gives out food and shelter for fucking free. Do you really think she's gonna kill us or something? Celise, seriously, what are the odds at this point? Like, we need to get out of here. We run too many risks by staying. Hey, where are you going? Run. Hey, I found one of those highway phones. I called 911 and we'll be picked up in a few hours. You all right? I'm sorry I was being mean back there. I can be like that sometimes. I don't want you to feel like I think you're stupid. I don't. Thanks. I don't know. What you said did hurt, but I'm also having a lot of weird, complicated feelings about everything right now. Yeah, that's understandable. disgusted with your behavior. It's absolutely unfathomable why you ran away right as we were about to ascend. Would you care to explain yourselves? We thought you were going to kill yourselves. Well, we didn't. Yeah? Can you bring Lil P their food? They didn't show up to dinner. Okay, sure. Sorry, buddy, I'll be right back. Lil P? Lil P? Ah. Oh, hey, nice place you got here. Mind if I come in? I got food for you. Wow, this is amazing. 
I'm so proud of you. I'm so amazed. Narnia is helping me. Narnia! Hi, Celise. I wish I could stay to help, but I gotta do more servant stuff, I guess. I wish you didn't commit that act of blasphemy. Hey, Celise? Yeah, Delilah? Is this place even any different? What do you mean? Like, it all feels exactly the same as back home. I can barely tell the difference. If I had known it was going to be like this, I wouldn't have even tried. Hey, what do you guys call yourselves? Like, your species name, I guess. I was never really told. We are called the Scrimbles. Oh. Do you think you can sing a song? I feel like I need it right now. Yeah, sure. Let me see if I can remember one. Oh yeah, I've got one. Um... is a virtue and yet waiting does no good is the glass too dim to see through can you set time back to zero will the flood rise up to meet you Thank you. 
was all to say, how are you? Treading water, castle burning, all alone except for everyone on our asteroid turning. Thank you.